Well, now that the band is finally together, what do we do now? Oh. He still has it set up like that. Oh, I just remember that I killed his son because he's the biggest stinking wuss in the universe. I literally pushed him and he died by hitting the edge of a stinking robot chair. Hi, Dad. I'm getting out of the hospital. Oh, he's alive! Oh, okay, so now I have zero regrets. Okay, he's not a complete wuss. Awesome. Birdies... Deactivated? Oh, he's becoming a good person, sure. Huh. Well, that's... That I feel a lot better now. Uh, wait, is that an elm? No, that's a skull. I thought it was like- I saw the rainbow color, I thought it was like Elmer the Elephant. <laughs> I assume he's upstairs. But like, he couldn't function without another android, so is there someone here who took my place? Or is he doing something? I don't know. Good to see you again, old friend. Sorry we never had that giraffe revolution. Why wasn't it a robot giraffe in that cage instead of a robot bear? That would make a lot more sense. What if I play a song and then he comes down? not in here is he really just upstairs but I don't know how he gets up and down though he still has our painting Guess there's nothing really to see in here except what we've already saw. We'll head upstairs. Not sure what he's doing, just saying goodbye. And sorry. If it weren't for him giving us such a good life, we probably wouldn't want the revolution that we've created. He gave us hope of something better. Whether or not we'll achieve it, who knows. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Carl. <gasps> Marcus. Hey. I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I, 
Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is, or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color, but I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Decide Connor's fate. If I could find him first off. For you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. As a great man once said, it's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain, but I still wish that I could have caused just a little bit less. 
happy with the progress we made, but all I could ever think about is what else could I have done to make it even better? What could I have changed to give us more hope than we have right now? I have no idea, really. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Okay, I'll just say, where the fruit is Connor? Is he over there? So he cannot stink and seem. I was trying to act all dramatic and just find him by walking around, but I cannot stink and find him. No wonder. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Well, lucky for you. I've seen your journey. And I definitely want what's best for you. And for everyone. Regardless of what happened beforehand. We're in this together now. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. About to kiss before we go. Oh boy. Form your people of your choice. What does that mean? Where do I go? Uh, well, yep, gotta stand on the sinking deck. And wait, what's my choice? Are we running away? Are we fighting back? Are we 
Infiltrating the Tower of Doom. Um... Uh, I should probably come up with my decision before I get on the Deck of Doom. <sighs> I think I made my decision. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Not what I thought it was gonna be worded as. Can we even do the demonstration is my question. We would need the androids from the tower in order to have any sort of pressure, right? Launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Is the like with what Carl told us like either accept how the world is or fight. So I feel like this is the time where I need to fight. If there's ever a point for me to get violent, it would be now. We're, they're not going to be peaceful with us going to the camp where they're exterminating androids. That doesn't make sense. Is something going to change? Also, when that says public opinion, does that mean like... Jericho or public opinion... Like the world, they're supportive of us. Because they're not, are they? I, I just got confused in a completely different reason now. Um... Hmm... You know, every time I make a decision like this, I always follow it up with, I'm gonna regret this. But in this moment... I can't have any doubts. No matter what the choice is, there will be terrible things that will come of it. But what matters most right now is that I don't lose my path, my objective, and my hope for the future. I know. I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them, peacefully, that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Interesting. I assume if I had remained obedient, then I could have played as Connor in this situation. 
and his path would have been completely different. Part of me wonders if I could have, if I should have kept Connor on the other side just for a while longer and if I could have controlled him back then, had him break out at a different time. But then who knows what his connection to Marcus and Kara would be, if he would, if they would trust him. I don't know. Well, I made a decision. And I'll see it through to the very end.